Another thing that really disturbed me when all this was happening, and there were a lot of Republicans were screaming this from the rooftops a year ago to bring over all of these refugees from Afghanistan. And I said, wait a second, um, if I'm familiar at all with our vetting process under the Biden administration at our southern border, it doesn't go well. So bringing over all these people that we don't know really who they are, why they want to come here and resettling them in the United States, that made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Not because I didn't want to help people, but because I've had a lot of lessons from people like you and others and say, listen, you have to be careful when you're bringing people over from the Middle East. You don't know what their intentions are, and we have a right to know that. Did that bother you? I'm sure it did, but I want your insight on it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, first of all, let's let's just in a vacuum, let's look at this. You cannot vet Afghanis. They cannot be vetted. There is no infrastructure to do it. So that's the first thing. Most people who live in Afghanistan do not know their own birth dates. Um, and so the, the idea that we're somehow going to vet them uh, is just nonsense. So that's that's number one. Um, number two, and I, I'll go back uh, several months ago, we were briefing a, a governor um, and we put together this briefing booklet and, and he had asked me to come in and speak about the vetting because they had, you know, thousands of, uh, refugees from Afghanistan, and I'll use refugees in quotes because they don't meet the legal definition of refugee, but let's just, let's not let the law get in the way and the international definition of a refugee get in the way of a good story. But I showed him, let's look at some people uh, that we vetted. Abdurrahman Alamudi was the Islamic advisor to President Clinton, Vice President Gore for their, their terms in office. And he was an Al Qaeda financier who was sentenced to 23 years in prison in uh, 2003. Um, so that's who he is. And he got vetted by the Secret Service and the FBI. Um, Gumarad Kalimov was an ISIS commander who was trained by the State Department five times in weapons and tactics, including training in, inside the United States. And when this was brought to the attention of the State Department, they literally defended themselves saying, hey, we vetted him. So it's not our fault. Well, obviously your, your vetting system sucks because <laughs> you let a, an ISIS commander get trained by the State Department. And the examples of this are endless inside our system. Mr. Biden just made Mohammed Majid the, uh, a commissioner on the uh, International Commission for Religious Freedom. Mohammed Majid was the vice president and the president of the Islamic Society of North America, which the Department of Justice identified the Islamic Society of North America in the largest terrorism financing trial in American history, which was adjudicated in Dallas, Texas, 2008, Holy Land Foundation trial. ISNA is identified as a Muslim Brotherhood organization that sent money directly to Hamas leaders and organizations overseas. And that's so. Our ability to vet easily identifiable jihadis, terrorists, uh, is zero. We can't tell friend from foe. So trying to vet, and again, I'll put that in air quotes, uh, refugees, again, in air quotes, from Afghanistan, it's a non-starter.